How are we doing, everybody? Um, you know, obviously a tough game, uh, super opponent, really talented team, very well coached. But I thought our kids uh, played really hard. They played really hard throughout. They competed for four quarters, you know, all the things that we're asking them to do. And, you know, I think that when you do that, you, you're just going to get better. You're going to get growth. Uh, you know, like we still have a lot of young players out there, but they're playing really hard. And a lot of those older guys are playing really hard. You know, I thought we did some good things uh, in all three phases. Uh, gave us a chance to, you know, score some points. And, you know, I, I don't think we've, uh, you know, come close to that in the, in the past few years. So I'm really proud of the way the kids played and, you know, just their belief in each other, uh, the way they carried themselves today. I thought they did a good job. And hopefully there's a lot to build off for these next two weeks. Pretty much the same thing has been all the time. You know, I mean, it's just really about going out and getting better every day, you know, and, you know, going out and competing for each other and making sure that you're trying to improve for the future. I, you know, I, I think I've said it a bunch of times that all of these reps matter because it gives them a chance to be more prepared for the future, you know, when, you know, when we're maybe a little more ready to be, you know, a higher level competitive, you know, bowl type team, which I, I believe that we will be in the future. I just think that, you know, uh, we're just trying to grow every week, and I think if we do that, you know, you see some good things. I mean, obviously, we hurt ourselves with a lot of things today, you know, turnovers and uh, turnovers early, a couple penalties at times that really just inopportune things and, you know, a few missed tackles on defense and situations. But there was a lot of good things, too, and I, I think you certainly see uh, at least a lot of fight and a lot of effort out of the guys. So I, that's pretty much what I tried to focus on. Were you curious when the, they're up 14 nothing, like in a drop of a hat, you turn over twice in four plays, how they were going to respond to that? Yeah, I guess so, because, you know, I guess it would be the easy thing to do would just be to kind of pack your bags. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was a phenomenal play on the interception. He, you know, kind of threw it into the wind. It was a little short, and the kid tipped the ball up to himself. And then, you know, Isaiah was just trying to make a play, get up the field. And, you know, obviously they turned into points right away too. So that, that's not great. I mean, they don't really need any help. I mean, they're a pretty good team, and we decided to give them a lot of help to start the game. So, uh, but eventually, you know, I, our guys settled in, and at least they made some plays. That, you know, we talked to them all the time on special teams about trying to steal a possession, get one extra possession a game, and we got the turnover there that set up the first touchdown, and that was huge because I think they felt like, oh, okay, we can settle in and, and maybe make a few plays. Thank you. No, no one has scored three touchdowns against this team all season to, to do that at the end of the game. I mean, what are the, the, the emotion you might have felt there when Johnny pushed that one into the end zone? Well, you know, what I told the kids was, you know, if you see the people in the stands, I think they're really proud. The people that were still there are really proud of the effort that those guys are giving. And, you know, that, you know, I guess that there was a point where I heard a lot of people saying, oh, these guys quit. These guys have not quit at all. You know, they're playing really hard for each other. And, uh, you know, you just see one, the forced turnover. And then, you know, we pick it up, almost run it back for a touchdown and then to finish the drive. And, you know, so from that standpoint, uh, I think the kids feel really good about they know that what we're talking about in practice and the meetings they're bringing to the field. And, you know, obviously the execution isn't perfect, but I think they were really proud of that, you know, to be able to go out there and, you know, as I told them, we haven't put 21 points on a lot of teams. So to put 21 points on them is, is a good day, I guess, in, in some ways. What do you do to not, not just not get in the quit, but to get them to believe everything you've been through this season, everything you went through the first quarter of this game? And keep pushing? Uh, the number one message uh, I have given since the day I was put in this position and really, uh, the entire time I've ever been a head coach is you show each other how much you care by how hard you play. So you put it on tape. You know, if you really say, I love my team, then you better go out and play really hard. You better put it on tape. And, you know, I, I think that these guys, they really do care about each other. They've worked really hard together for a long time. And they've, you know, the results haven't really been what they wanted to be. But I think they're starting to see that if you just stick together and never quit, never flinch when things go bad, there will be improvement. And I think, you know, seeing a little improvement, I think the Liberty game helped. I think the way we played against Illinois, you know, you can't take these six plays out of the game, but if you take the six plays out of the game, we're right in it. You know, it's 10, 10 at halftime. They felt really good about that. And I, so I just think that, you know, the message has just been consistent, you know, play hard, believe in each other, play hard for each other. And they're good kids. So that's what they're doing. Kind of looking broadly, I guess, at the, at the program, what, what, do you, what do you think needs to happen here to, so that Rutgers can be competitive in the Big Ten? Uh, we need to have some consistency, players, coaches, everything. You know, we, we just need to, you know, we got a lot of young guys playing. We got to keep them playing together and growing and getting better. We got to get to a point where there's a lot of consistency on the coaching staff so the, seam, the schemes are similar and you learn and grow from it. 
And I think when you do that, you know, you have a chance to really be successful. You know, consistent message, uh, same guys building together. You watch really good programs are filled with juniors and seniors that are playing that work their way up. And, you know, there's a lot of programs out there that you'd say you'd like to, to model that do that. And, you know, we need, to, we need to do that. You know, there's been probably too much turnover in a lot of ways. And so hopefully limiting that in the future will give us a chance to be successful. It, I guess in a perfect way, I mean, been, being in this area, what, what would you say would be the, should be the identity of Rutgers football? Toughness. Effort, you know, I mean, to me, if you go around and watch New Jersey high school football, that's what you see. You see a lot of really well-coached teams that play really hard and really tough. And when we go on the field, they need to see that when we're playing. You know, if I'm a, I was a high school coach for a long time, so I know what guys want to see when they come back. They want to see just what they're being taught to be the same thing. And I'm not saying that wasn't being taught or anything. I'm just saying that the, that's what the product has to be. You know, that's the calling card in New Jersey and New Jersey football. I think it's a tough place. You know, I think people take pride in, you know, that. And I think people need to see that when they come watch us play. And I think when they do see that, I think they'll be proud of it and, you know, give an opportunity to grow. Did any, question? Did any of the uh, alumni in attendance give any pregame speeches or halftime speeches? Uh, no, no. Uh, it was great to have all those guys here. A lot of great players. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, guys.